Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn about proxy icons. So what are proxy icons? Well, proxy icons are the icons in the title bars of most windows in Mac OS X. They're in Finder windows and they're in Document windows. And they can be very useful. Let's have a look. So here's a Finder window and here's the proxy icon. It's at the top just to the left of the title of the window. Now you can click on this icon here and drag it. You notice that as I drag it over different things it changes how it works. Here I can't do anything with it because the documents folder is already in this area. But I could drag it say over to archive and you add a plus symbol to it allowing me to copy that folder there. I could also go ahead and like I was doing a drag in the finder I can go ahead and hold the option and command key down to create an alias for that folder. So for instance, if I wanted to go ahead and drag this folder and I'm already looking at it into this folder, well normally I'd have to navigate up a level so I can access the folder. But I can use the proxy icon to do it. I can click on the proxy icon, drag it over here and drag it into this folder here where it appears. Now this comes in very handy when editing a document. Here I am using TextEdit to edit a document and normally I'd have to find the document in the finder in order to do any file manipulation with it. But I can actually use the proxy icon here and drag it into a finder window. It will create an alias or I can go ahead and hold down the command key and it will make a copy of that file as well. One common use for this is to create a mail attachment with the document you're currently working on. So here I am in TextEdit. I save my document. Instead of having to go and find that document in the Finder to drag it to the mail window, I can go ahead and drag the proxy icon to the mail window. So here's the mail window. I'm going to go ahead and drag the proxy icon right into the mail document and it creates an attachment. Now I have proxy icons in Safari, kinda. They're not in the title bar, but they're the little icon next to the URL. You can go ahead and click on one and drag it and say add it to a mail message as a link to that page. You could also even add it to the finder and it will create a little shortcut there that you can click on to go to that web page. So that's not all you can do with the title bar. You can also hold the command key down and click on either the proxy icon or the title and you get a list of all the folders that are in the hierarchy going down to the current one. So the documents folder is in MacMost, which is in Users, which is in Macintosh HD, which is on MacMost iMac. You can select any one of these and it will jump to that current location. Now even in a document you can use the title bar to find out what folder it is in. So you can do the same trick as you did in the Finder. Hold the Command key down, click on the title bar and it gives you a list of the hierarchy leading to that file. And you can release it over any of these folders and it will open up a new Finder window with that folder. Now you can experiment in other applications. For instance in Mail here I find that I can go ahead and drag a mail message using the proxy icon. I can also command click on it to see where that message is located. So all sorts of different applications. Address book, iCal, iTunes don't seem to do anything with proxy icons now but I check in some of your favorite applications, especially third party ones, to see what functions the proxy icon has. Here's another use. Suppose that you're editing a simple HTML page and you want to check it out in Safari. You can use the proxy icon to drag from the title bar here into Safari in the dock in this case and it opens it up in Safari all without me having to go to the finder at all. So that's a quick look at proxy icons and the title bar. Hope you found it useful. Till next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <laughs>